Hey guys, Sai here in the flesh, We're doing a rare on-screen appearance to talk to you today about two Resident Evil books that have released within the last nine months or so. The first one being something that a lot of you have asked us about, which is are we going to cover Itchy Tasty, an unofficial history of Resident Evil by Alex O'Neill? Well, I hold it here in my hands. So yes, we are certainly going to be talking about that today. And we are also talking about another book uh, which, this isn't a paid promotion, but we did get this for free, so thank you to the author of Resident Evil from Boss Fight Books, Philip J. Reed, for sending this out to us, reaching out to us specifically and sending it over. We really appreciate that. It's a great time to be a Resident Evil fan, and with it being the 25th anniversary, it's a good time to have both of these books in my hands. I've thoroughly enjoyed both. I'm going to take you through both of them and what makes them stand out. So our first book is Itchy Tasty, an unofficial history of Resident Evil, the first published work by Alex O'Neill, so congratulations to him. Uh, many of you may know the name from the community, and if you don't, perhaps you know the handle, which is CVX Freak, long time member of the Resident Evil fandom from way back in the game FAQ days. Alex lives out in Japan and he is self-taught in Japanese. Uh, this and some wonderful connections have allowed him to have various interviews with important members of Capcom staff throughout Resident Evil's history, specifically in the early days, to gain some information, gain some invite for us English-speaking fans that we perhaps wouldn't know directly from the mouths of the people who made the games themselves. All of these interviews are brilliant, of course there's always something there and you get a sense of the personalities of all these people as well, wonderfully demonstrated by Alex, but more than that, I don't want to say that I am the be-all and end-all of Resident Evil knowledge, that is absolutely the furthest from the truth. But as the person that runs ResiFax, um, I often have to go digging for developmental trivia, and i read a lot of it over the years from various parts of the internet, and that being said, even I learned things and read things that I've never seen or heard before, so I really appreciate that. As someone who thought they had uh, learn everything there was to learn about the development history of some of these games. It's always nice to hear something new. That being said, if you are a fan of the development of Resident Evil, this is absolutely the book for you. It really does cover a lot of facts, figures, uh, dates, and everything like that very objectively. It's very thorough. It goes through the first 10 years of Resident Evil from the original game and how that came to be, of course, spinning off from Sweet Home all the way up to 2006 and the celebration of the 10th anniversary with the Deadly Silence port which of course is a wonderful bookend uh, not just for those 10 years in general but for the book talking about the original game and then talking about the DS version as well and it contains every game therein in between we're talking mainline stuff we're talking side games like Survivor and the Outbreak games and some oddities as well the Game Boy Color port gets its time in the spotlight and there is a little bit on the Tiger 99X slash Gamecom version of Resident Evil 2. Um, it's really interesting to read what is it is like it is a history book like in subtitle and in content and that sounds quite dry but if you love Resident Evil you will be stuck on this book uh, learning about Capcom's own history with the series, how they struggled and how they persevered, how things changed backstage, how certain staff members were selected and why, what they brought to the table, what made each game unique and uh, how products changed in form and how the series changed in form as well over those first 10 years. It is a wonderful chronicling of the first decade of Resident Evil. It is, if you are interested in the development of the Resident Evil series, almost a necessity to have this on your bookshelf and it would look beautiful there. As you can tell, the hardcover in particular looks wonderful, uh, it's sturdy, it's just really uh, a joy to read. If you are looking for a thorough and complete historical documentation of the first decade of Resident Evil, there is probably no better book out there that I know of at least than Itchy Tasty. It really is wonderful and I would recommend it for any die-hard fan of the series. No! Don't go! 
Our second book is simply titled Resident Evil. It is one of many books published by Boss Fight Books who do a lot of look backs at classic video games with different writers that love those games uh, to discuss the ins and outs of them. And I already know that Philip is a wonderful writer. He's worked with Nintendo Life and Triple Jump in the past and I already knew he was a big Resident Evil fan so getting into this I was pretty optimistic about what I was going to get and I absolutely got what I was expecting and more. Rather than itchy tasty talking about 10 whole years of Resident Evil, uh, this is just about the original game and Philip's own experience specifically with the original game and how it led him towards the horror genre which he's since become an aficionado of, if you like, something that he wasn't interested in and how Resident Evil opened that door to him. And that's very much a through line throughout the whole thing. It really does go through a lot of the beats of the original game, talking about what makes them successful as horror set pieces and finding equivalents in movies to compare them to as well. And the whole time, if you are a fan of the original Resident Evil like me, you will most likely be smiling at the pure joy that Philip finds in all of these moments. It really is a big labour of love, but it's not just all personal experience. He has done his homework, whereas Alex, the writer of Itchy Tasty, did have the directors there for him to talk to in Japanese. Of course, we don't all have that luxury, but Philip has reached out to various voice actors and the live action cast from the opening and closing cutscenes of the game and I learned a lot that I didn't know from their perspective as well. They, there's some in-depth information there, some really interesting stuff. But for the most part, it's just an infectiously fun look at the original Resident Evil. What made it so, so good. If you like First Aid Spray and the podcast in particular, especially our RE1 episode that we did earlier this year, this book is kind of a wonderful companion to that. It is just more more love for that original game and Philip's personality is so infectious in this book. His love for that game shines through. Whereas Itchy Tasty, as I say, is kind of a history book and it's not cold particularly, uh, but it's a lot more objective. Whereas uh, Philip's love is really the driving force. Resident Evil by Boss Fight Books is short and punchy. It doesn't do anything unnecessary and it really is a celebration of that original game. As such, it's very affordable as well. Itchy Tasty will set you back a bit more, but as I say, it's this beautiful hardcover for one thing. And it really does go into a lot more detail over a whole span of 10 years. There's a lot of exclusive information in this. There's a lot of personality in this. And actually, reading one, then the other, uh, was just a wonderful way for me to celebrate 25 years of the series this year. And in fact, that would be the way that I recommend that you do it. Both books absolutely offer something unique from the other. One is much more historical, objective, much more in depth about the history of the series. The other gets much more into the minutiae of what makes Resident Evil, the original game, work so well and what made it stand out to this one particular person. But I'm sure for all the same reasons it stood out to many of us. In fact, reasons that perhaps you didn't even realize when you were playing the game way back in the day or perhaps even last week. With the series turning 25 this year, find all the ways you can to celebrate it in your life. And I do highly recommend reading both of these books. Absolutely, in fact, back to back if you can, since they offer something so wildly different about the series and the game that we love so, so much. I had a great time reading both of these. Link is in the description for both books. They are available both physically and digitally. I highly recommend both. Obviously, it depends what you're looking for, but really, if you've got a shelf of Resident Evil stuff, you probably want to add both to it. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. I know this is a bit different for us. I really appreciate you giving us that click. And make sure you give us that subscribe as well. We're always putting out brand new content every couple of weeks, all about Resident Evil, be that the podcast or editorial videos, lists, anything. We make a lot of content. So check back through our channel. You'll probably find lots of stuff that you're interested in if you're a Resident Evil fan. Let us know in the comments if you've read either of these books and what you thought of them. And if I've swayed you at all, let us know. We'd love to know that you're picking up either of these. Uh, they are fantastic. And I just, yeah, we didn't have to make this video, but sharing the love. I've been Cypher First Aid Spray. Thank you for watching and have a great week. Uh -huh.